Okay, we are being given the task of identifying this harmony and which major keys it can function diatonically. So a few things going on here, so let's get into it. We are in treble clef, so we know the second to the bottom line is a G. If you count up and down using your musical alphabet, you're gonna learn that the notes from low to high are E, B, D, and then G on top. Now, in order to figure out the chord, we need to stack the notes into thirds. And the only way you can do that with these four notes is to label it as some kind of an E chord, E, G, B, and then D. Now, the next step is to look at the intervals. E up to G is three half steps, that's a minor third, little m3. G up to B is a major third, four half steps, big m3. And then B up to D is a minor third as well, three half steps. And so we've got a minor third plus a major third plus another minor third. This is the formula for a minor seven chord. And so our answer is E minor seven. Sounds like this. Here's the low note E. The B is here. The G, uh, the D, excuse me, next. And then the G on top. And so you play that together. There's our E minor seven chord. Now, we need to figure out in which major keys can we have this chord, uh, at least diatonically. Well, we need to know that in a major scale or a major key, the two chord, the three chord, and the six chord can be minor seven chords. So that would mean that E minor could function in D major as the two chord. It could function in C major as the three chord, and it could also function in G major as the six chord. So there's your answer. E minor seven, it functions in major keys D, C, and G.